Okay, back at the yard. It's a good Friday to call, I guess. Holiday. I need to get all the stuff done. Got this from my house, actually, the stuff. I want to clean up some of the stuff, but the other big timbers I'm going to use use them for it to build that uh, where the edge of my uh, yard goes. There's a uh, part of the decking rotted away. Joe's here today. Let's see how long you last year. So I want to all the stuff here. Maybe grab a pail here and all the stuff on the deck here. I want to chuck. Yeah, um... I better go this way here. Well, I know whatever way you want to do, it's up to you. I want to go, oh, you got a wheelbarrow? I got one, but it's junk in it, you gotta get all the... You know, you can put wheelbarrow, probably the craster. I want to keep a couple pieces of plywood. There's somebody... So I gotta fill some things in. Especially the half inch. So leave this plywood here over here, okay? Yeah. Definitely gonna have some uh, patching to do or something. Okay, might just clean up this here a little bit, some of the dirt, and then uh, start doing something else. Okay, trying to get my brass ready. I got a metal band here. Both sides, actually.
I might do the bottom one. seam there. There it is. So it's pretty easy. in here and different things called chunks. Haven't took brass back for a long time actually. forever actually just keep moving there's all brass everywhere here I'm gonna dig it all out okay Did you buy it already no no they don't they don't want to sell it to them that's they don't like them too much money that's crazy no one's gonna pay that kind of money huh birds birds are shitting in here I'll have to get them well the season will be over soon I'll have to seal it there's shit everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, I noticed that all over the top here and everywhere. Okay, well, get the rest of the plywood in. I just don't want to hit those wires. Why me? Grab just one on one side. Yeah, grab one. Wires there. Okay, so, so, okay. So. Okay. I'm sorting, sorting my wire out. Uh, some of this wire is actually pretty good wire.
wants to rain, but it's kind of not raining, you know. It wants to rain. This stuff here, see. Got about uh, five or six appliances. I got the cords I've cut off too. In the back area there. Trying to make these the 200 all load. This stuff I'm gonna strip myself. Like look at this here. See that copper there? I call this copper. Still number two, but should be good. Okay, let me get organized, go that way and start taking appliance cords off. I'm trying to clean up some of the garbage you got kicking around. Cords here. I still have some cords kick around here and there everywhere. Look, I see the odd cord, but let's see. All the cords here. These are like 220 or something. See that? Ground is taken off. Different. That one's complete. Hmm. It's only one like that, actually. Huh? Probably no use. I always think he might have a use rate, right? but then it sits for ages. Okay, we'll keep moving. We kind of a whole box here, actually. Hmm. Oh, 
Advanced Timer, Fog Machine, Timer Control. Oh. That for now. Power supplies. More wire than I thought. See, this is taking up space. This wire. Let's see what it is before I cut it. Making myself uh, close to a bucket if I look around enough. Maybe. Epson's white printer. Okay, I'm going to keep cutting this and go around and look for what else there is. These are the things that come off the uh, hot water heaters, the gas ones. There's a big uh, aluminum thing and this is what behind behind it. So what I'm going to do is cut them down. Get them down with that. kind of metal that is almost like steel or stainless steel, steel. I also have a pipe wrench you just wrench these things off Too old needs repair. That's loose. Joe wants the dirt bike. One dirt bike now. Work for the dirt bike. picture before it gets ruined. Okay, so we keep keep you know, getting these off. Here's an old sprinkler. See how that comes off. Pipe wrench. See, a day is nice today, actually. Okay, it's easy. All these pieces of steel are going to be uh, number one. Move this one here. It's really corroded, but uh, we'll see. Oh, look at that. It's off easy. Yeah, 
<laughs> these, these things are brass right there. Nice and heavy. Oh yeah, nice. You don't get them brass too often. It's actually pretty rare. Heavy stuff. Hard to believe. Feels like steel. It's that heavy. So nothing. I think it's, this is all brass, actually. Yeah. And then this one here. I think this is uh, steel again. like a pot metal. I don't think it's gonna be all brass. There's a nut here. It's gonna come off. And then the tire is down there so they're clean up that area a bit. Grass. I have a feeling that's not going to be brass. I think I got a whole set of this stuff. Wow, nice and heavy. Now we gotta determine what this stuff is here. It's really heavy. Look at these things here. It looks like pot metal. Mm. Pot, pot metal. I think it's pretty much loop bulb. Oh yeah, it's brass. So outside it's shiny, but it's brass here. Yeah, it's brass. So that's not brass. Screw here. Okay, well, brass hoard's getting bigger. Okay. So this one here, this old school brass. Separated or something. It's been quite a bit cleaned over. You got a pill there, a pill here. You might get 50 pounds alone. I'm hoping. We'll see. Not guaranteed, but there's enough little fixture, light fixtures, and 
Odds and ends, still more taps kicking around here and there. Okay, so now here's the black assembly. That's all the brass there. There's brass here too, but I think it might have a steel pin. But you never know. Not steel. Just steel. Door knob here. pliers went over here last we'll move my table over after Of steel there, so I think if I go like this, bang it down. There it is, cleaned. Oh, it's all brass. piece of steel right here it's like a veneer to get it out. Sent Joe to get us a pizza. So he's going to gas station to get food, so let's grab a pizza. There it is. So not that hard. Okay. Do you think that's brass? This is pipe brass. Hmm. I'll have to grind it. Could be stainless. I don't like the color, color on the inside. Inside shouldn't be that color. Could be stainless. Either way, it's gonna come off. So, hmm, I don't like the color.
famous. Yeah, that's why it sparks. Oh well, can't win. Those brass. Okay, I'll chuck the rest in the bin. There's a waste to pick it up, but uh, you don't know, right? When you're doing, you know, put a magnet on it, right? And it doesn't stick. You assume it's brass, but it's definitely not this time. That's okay, stainless still has value, more than tin. Yeah, Google just called me for a verification. I said, don't don't call me right now, it's a holiday. He says, when do you want me to call back? I said, next year. Anyways, so that's done. Okay. I don't know how they got these in here. They must have epoxied the holes. Not on here, but on this part. We filled the holes up or something. Only two, two or three bolts, but it's in tough. Actually, pretty heavy little things. There are little shelves that held plates. It was a little bit poor condition. Just cleaning up that area now. Should be on top of the yard a bit. Once that pile's gone. Okay. Yeah. 40 pounds maybe? Should have about 50 pounds. Okay. Okay, so I got uh brass so far.
actually quite a bit of brass, I'm surprised. Builds up pretty fast. Well, some is to spring clean up, and some we've had demos and so on. Screws are all brass too. Screws here. There it is. Amazing how much brass. Let's get all my tools, proper tools. Let's take this stuff apart better. Tall brass, good value. See that? Okay, I'm gonna strip a few more things. More, I have this, and then a couple small things, I think, and then some things here. Okay, okay, that's for the hot water tank. So, when you take the uh, you unscrew it. You can screw like that, and then this is what you got. Nice piece of brass. So what you gotta do with this thing here. You have to cut the tip off first. Tip. A piece of steel in there. You cut the tip off. Then you got a clean brass. It's heavy. At least an ounce. And then you have this thing here. It's plastic. And this is copper too. So you want to just cut this off like that. There it is. Here's your copper. Your copper and brass. So basically, uh, I'm stripped everything. Um, it's all my brass. Lots of brass there. I'll wait in a few minutes to let you know. I'm going to clean this stuff here. A little bit of a stainless here. And just trying to catch up on some of the junk that was sitting here. It was just too much. Too many different things in here now. I'm kind of a more organized. I'm trying to get the brass. And at least a good load of brass. And then whatever's copper. Try to make about two, three dollars Okay. So I got... Uh, Almost done. Little brass. I found some uh, pressure washer blocks where they have the brass on there. Look at that next.
They're relatively pretty easy. That's the pot metal. That's all the taps I did today already. So number uh, two copper. Uh, there's stainless here. I have a low grade wire. A little bit better wire, but I'm going to leave it maybe. This is uh, appliance kind of cords. That's the brass so far. And I have this also. This yoke. And then I have these. The strip out. These are brass. And they're heavy. So I'll do those next. And then they'll do a big way up. And I'll just take one more quick look and see what else I have. Okay. I've uh, uh, done torque each one. Could, couldn't do it. So tight. One at the hammer, a nut on top of that nut, just to loosen that one. These are the pressure washers. It's a really good score if you could get them. I found two actually. Two from, two from the same place, which is unusual. The other one here. Oh, the must be still on here. Not sure if they'll come off or not, but okay, let's weigh these two to see. They gotta be about three pounds each, three or four pounds. Four point three. 4.2 Okay This is our load 71 It's gotta be 30 It's gotta be over 100 pounds 119 pounds So 119 so I would say at least 110 pounds the brass is pretty good. Probably like 300 bucks. Close to 300, yeah. Pretty good. And then I got uh, copper. Oh, I got more number two coming. I'm going to bust a couple transformers. Oh, it's heavy. Number two. So 9.7, so probably 2 pounds of hill, probably about 7.5. Pot metal, zinc. 24, probably 22. Uh, the buckets are 2 pounds, I'm not sure. Um, this wire here, it's got to be at least 40 pounds, 45 pounds. 59.8, well. Pretty heavy, so it should be a good payday. All this stuff, but I need to get a little more uh, copper ready because I got some transformers. Whew. Wow, okay, good lamp here. I think this one is the pop metal one. Something. Let's wait. So, pop metal. Okay. Here a second ago, where to put it? Hmm. Oh, 
got no bees. What's all about? I can't think of more low grade wire. I just. I guess stuff hoarded all over the place. You start looking, you notice this, you notice that. It's like weird. You think it's all gone, but nope, you still have more. off see that simple just uh, tap it there it is Ooh, brass This thing here is pot metal, but uh, to find a screwdriver that fits it. Hoping I could just pop it out, but it's in there pretty good. These I'll strip later. You know what? I don't think it's stripping completely. It might be able to, but sometimes they're hard to strip them completely. Don't have a fine screwdriver. I do got one somewhere, but getting late so I'm trying to be lazy lazy about it hmm. wants to be a tough one The only came out, so it's in the pot now, anyway. It's no big deal. Okay, I'll try to find my transformers. Okay, stand by. We'll get my transformers ready. The transformer here. Wait, this one's tough because it does. That's got a plate on there, the bottom. It wants to be a pain. See that plate here? It's in there pretty good. one sit properly on my vice if you know what I mean. So I can do is backwards.
I wonder how the plates on that one. I see you put in a vise and bang the plate, bud. You know. Third one. So this one's different, huh? It welds on the side like that, so I can hold it in the, in the vise. That's the kind of way I like to do it. I'm gonna clean these up and see how many pounds I got. Three transformers. Okay, I stripped it. One was a pain. Had a weird uh, varnish on it, so I had to kind of take it apart better. Look at how much is in there. Just one. 1.3. Four point nine, almost five pounds. Fourteen point four. So I would say probably two pounds of hill. Probably twelve pounds for fifty five bucks. Well, Make a good payday. That's all I have ready that I had. It's pretty messy. I want to clean it up right away. But um, it was, it was wrapped around like this. It's really hard to get off. I just hit it with a hammer. Hit the corners with a hammer. The corners actually start to separate the plastic. Whatever that material is. Okay. So you can see it's a lot less space here. You know, stuff stuff adds up. There's a bucket here. Stainless, it's not steel. I still have these, but they're kind of a little harder to clean. It's a little too noisy to make a noise right now, like a big noise to that, a little grinder. Let me maybe cut this one off. There's brass and the copper here.
not a good blade at all. The new blade, I stuck it on, but I cut some stainless steel and mixed things. That's why the blade's only good at the end here. see what else I can do here. I probably will have all my brass except I have doorknobs and stuff for sure other things but the brass I have that, that I know of. I might scrap Actually, these uh, fittings. Nobody's really doing copper no more. It's all plastic. Give myself another pound or so. Sometimes not copper, sometimes steel. This time it's copper. Hangers. Let's see what else we got here now? Fifteen point five. Gained a little more. What do I weigh now? Two sixteen point nine. Okay. Let's keep moving. <laughs> 